Hi, this is Brian Bucklew from Provision Studios, and today we are working on doing a print track through the Soundcraft Signature Series console in Personas Studio One. I'm using Studio One version 3, and I have the multi track version of the Soundcraft Signature Series console, specifically the 22 multi track. So um, the key to this is your I.O. in Studio One. So I'm going to go through that uh, in detail. First thing you want to do is uh, make sure that your I.O. is set up properly. Um, for your main mixer channel, you want that to be 2122, which on the 22 multi-track board, Analog channels 21 and 22 are set up to be the main output or the master output. There's a very good chance that when you first start up uh, Studio One, that analog one and two is going to be selected and you're not being able to get any output from your doll and you can't figure out why. This would be why. There's one of two ways to change that. One, you click on your main output and select 2122, or you can select on the I.O. and the audio setup, go to output and select 2122 and apply. Regardless of which way you decide to do it, that will select 21 and 22 as your output for your main out and that'll get audio flowing to your outputs of the Soundcraft Signature Series console. Also, when you want to print, Analog 2324 are your print return from the console back into your DAW. So you want to have those armed as an active output. How you do that is you go to your inputs, you select Add Stereo, you want to make sure that 2324 are selected. And then I call them print. So there we are. We have our print input and we have analog one and two selected there. Now for your outputs, you can have as many of these as you want. Again, it depends on what your needs are. For me, for my studio, I, I mean, I like to have whatever I'm going to need set up for me. Um, so you just populate your board that way. Uh, you can call this channel one, two. channel three, four, et cetera, all the way down, you know. Again, it, it depends on what you need. Me, I would like to have all of my, ch if, I've, if I've got a, a 22 channel board, I want to be able to use all my channels. So that's how you would do it here and there. Um, again, 2324 is the key for what we're doing today because that's our print return. And your uh, inputs into your uh being able what you can record are going to be controlled here. So you might want to rename these uh, accordingly. Maybe analog one, two, analog three, four, so on and so forth. You also to benefit yourself, would probably want to add um, monos for each of these. So this would be analog three, analog four. So not only will you have a, a capability to route a stereo pair, but you also could have a mono pair. So, uh, I mean, 
the way I would do it would be like this. So there's going to be my, uh, like again, again, analog three, four will be my stereo pair. And then I'll have my mono right underneath of it. Analog three, which would, I would in most cases route analog three to the left. And then analog four, I would pan to the right. So you've got your stereo pair and then your mono sub pair right here, left and right. You do the same thing here, analog one, two, and you can have analog one, analog two. Again, you, you can call it analog one L, analog two R, however you want to do it. That's how I would set up, I would populate this entire uh, uh, grid. Same thing here, if you wanted to do mono, outs. Uh, that's, that's how you do it. You hit apply and okay. All right. Now into our uh, actual printing. Um, I just have a real simple arrangement here. I want to run them into the board. Right now they are going out to the main, but I want to run them into a channel through a group returned back through analog 2324, which is my print return, and then to print it. So first thing I want to route the output of the instrument to channel one and two. So that's returning on the board. So that's, I'm controlling that now through my channels one and two on my board. All right, I want to create a new track. This is going to be my print on my print track. Oops, sorry about that. Its input, again, is going to be the print, 2324. Its output is going to be to the main. So my stereo instrument, which is cellos and basses, is going to be uh, going to the board channel 1 and 2. I have channel 1 and 2 on the console going into my group 1 and 2. And then that's going into 2324. which I can monitor here. See, pull my fader down and music level stops. Because again, it is control, what's being routed into the print track now is what's going through the console. So let's print that real quick. Again, we have the print track is muted, so I don't want to get any fold back from uh, uh, what is coming through the channel and what I'm monitoring. So I'm going to mute that because I'm already going to hear the cellos and basses signal. And you just hit record. Turn to the beginning. Let's solo that and let's just hear what we got.
All right, so there is a print of what we've got going through the console. Now, again, that's very minimal. I didn't do any EQing or effects or anything like that through the console. So basically, this is more or less an analog sum of, the, of what we had going on inside of Personas. So um, that's the way you would route it. Again, it's, the key is your I.O inside of Studio One. If you don't set this up properly for the board, then you're not going to know uh, how to uh, uh, route the print track uh, back th through the doll. Um, and again, that's all done through your inputs channel here, analog 2324. All right, I hope that helped you guys. Um, in my next video, I'm going to continue along the, uh, the path of showing how to do multi-tracking on uh, uh, sessions that are uh, broken up into parts, okay? All right, thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.